Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're doing an unboxing of a lot of phones I picked up on eBay. So I'm take a look, see what we got. It's a little harder to do than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. There we go. Bubble wrap, cases and chargers, uh, car chargers, house chargers, a bunch of chargers, not really going to open that. Yep. So here we go, and we'll start off and see what we got here. Starting out, we got a Motorola Droid M, I think it is. Let's pop off <coughs> this cover. Here we go. Yep, Droid Razor M. Still got the wrapper on the back glass. Still got the wrapper, I think, on here. So, very nice condition. There's a the model number XT907. Has no power probably. Here we have a Nokia on Cricket. Probably dead as well. Here's a Kia Sera 2135 on Altel. I have a Verizon one. I do not have an Altel one till now. Here is, I think I have one of these already, but I think I might have having issues again, so. This one looks to be on track phone, maybe TF uh, model NTLG 150B. I think the N stands for uh, Net 10, actually. Yeah, there's Net 10. It is dead. Here we have a My Shot on Alltel. The battery's kind of bloated. SCHR is 430. It's probably going to be dead as well, especially with a bloated battery. <clears throat> Didn't expect it to hold the charge at all. Two phones in bubble wrap. We'll set that aside. Blackberry bold with a interesting case on it. I don't know how the case comes off, to be honest. Anyways, Blackberry Bold. Oh, here we go. It's on there pretty good. There we go. Got a bloated battery, as every Blackberry device does, it seems like. I always have a 2 gig SD card. The Blackberry 9630. It does have a sticky back as well, but is in pretty decent shape for having a case on it, so that's kind of nice. It's another one of those Nokia's on. These are the same thing. I guess the hole's a little different. And a little bit bigger. So I can't get these to work. Probably just do a drop test on them. This one vibrated. This one looks to work, has charge in it. <clears throat> Here's a unbranded SCH device, being a Verizon, probably one of the third parties, like Page Plus or something. A630. It's a remanufactured phone by Sharon, as you've seen. There's that one up and working, it looks like, half percent on the battery. This one doesn't turn on. No Verizon branding on this thing at all. I have one of these, but mine has Verizon all over it. Here is a pretty rough. I actually bought one of these. That should be coming in in a couple days. It's the V710. <clears throat> and I ordered one of these in a lot better shape than this one. 
so that is okay. I guess we'll have parts one way or the other for them. I don't know if there's an SD card in this or not. There indeed is. If I can get it out. Oh, no, man, there isn't. Okay, just tripping. So I'm guessing it has no power. The screen looks a little distorted or something in there. I don't know. There's that, and then we got two Altel phones here. AX, I think this is the 8300 if I remember right. Has a blue or a back, yeah, 8600. Has a black battery, which is a replacement one. As you can see, probably gonna have no charge. And then a LG AX 30, well, 355. There we go. And it's probably going to be dead. Indeed, it is. But there's a little unboxing, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I actually got one more. My bad. Got this thing in a oh, this is two batteries. One's a Blackberry battery and a Nokia battery. Forgot about this one here. This one's in this bag because the rubber soft stuff, like the soft touch stuff, where is it at? Yeah, all that stuff right there is coming off. I have a phone just like this. It's a um, Samsung Verizon camera in the bottom. I remember, but I don't take it out the bag, I don't think because it's all dirty. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for the next one.